Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. A very good morning, blessed and highly favored of God. Welcome to another day that the Lord has made. The very last Sunday in the first month of the year, the month of January. I want to thank God for what God has been doing in our lives, in our families, concerning all that has to do with us. God has been faithful. He continues to be faithful. And we are glad that we are in this season of greatness, of glory, of relevance, even as we are preparing for the success of this new year, 2023. This morning, I invite you to join us in prayers. And as you pray, God will do something spectacular for you, for your family, in your life, in your destiny, that will last forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I just want to encourage us that we should not be, um, uh, we should not faint in the place of prayer. We should not be weary in the place of prayer. We should not um, tremble in the place of prayer, but we should be steadfast even as we are waiting on the Lord, as we are praying, God will show up for us and he will turn all our mourning into dancing, all our fears, he will turn it around and everything that has to do with us will be glorious in the mighty name of Jesus. By the grace of God this morning, I'm going to pray, we're going to be praying about delays. You see, we've, I've come to realize that delays is something that you how we will experience in your life one time or the other. And delay is a season or a period of waiting. But delay will never last forever. And in fact, when God arises and when God is involved, your delay will turn into a blessing. The scripture says in Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3, Habakkuk 2 verse 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Say, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie for it. In other words, it says, wait for it. Amen. Be steadfast, hold on to it. At the appointed time, God will show up for you. It will turn your waiting into a glorious testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's start with a prayer of mercy and, of course, of thanksgiving. Just go ahead in your own way and begin to ask God to show you mercy. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. Every morning his mercies are new. Even today, they have started a new day. He has woken us up this morning. He has brought us into a new day. His mercy is available for us all. Father, we thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy that is new every morning. Lord, let your mercy speak for us, for our families, all that concerns us in the mighty name of Jesus, which asks, O oh Lord God, show us your mercy, the sure mercies of David. Let it speak for us, let it speak for our homes, our families, our children, our spouses, everything that concerns us. Let your mercy speak for your church, even this morning, today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. We also want to thank you, Almighty God, for bringing us into a new day, into the last Sunday in the month of January. Father, we say th thank you. Thank you for all that you have been doing. Lord, as the year has begun, you have already begun to show that, that you are the Almighty in all areas of our lives. This morning, we, your children, we've come to say thank you. Thank you, O oh God, for what you are doing. Thank you for what you continue to do. And thank you for what you will do today, even this week, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lord, we pray that that appointed time that you have set for our joy to be full, for our blessings to manifest, for our breakthrough to, to manifest. Lord, let that appointed time not delude us in the name of Jesus. The appointed time for our glory, Lord God, we receive it with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. In this season, as we prepare for the success of this new year, Father, every appointed time that you have prepared for each and every one of us, Father, let there be no changes whatsoever. Let us be at the right time, at the right, at the, let us be at the right place, at the right time to enjoy that appointed time that you have released unto us 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying, O oh Lord God, that in a season of delay or in a period where we need to wait, Father, you will strengthen us. We ask for strength. I pray, O oh God, that everyone that may be going through a season of delay, waiting on you, my Father, my God, show up for that fellow, show up for that man, for that woman, the boy or girl, and Father, let their delay turn into a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. As we prepare for the success of this year, our year of relevance in Christ, every form of delay, Father, let it be an anchor for great blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who went through a delay that you were involved with in the scripture, they all came out testifying. I pray for everyone going through a delay in this season. My Father, my God, let them come back testifying in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether it be a delay concerning marriage, let their marriages become the very best. Whether it be a delay concerning the expectation of the fruit of the womb, let that child become the very best. Like it happened to Zachariah and Elizabeth and all other people that waited on the Lord for the fruit of the womb. They went through delay, but their children, the child, the son, the daughter that you gave to them became the most sought after. Let it be so for everyone waiting upon you for the fruit of the womb in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether it be a delay concerning a project, let the project become the most viable, most successful project they've ever done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, my Father, my God, that in a season of delay, Lord, we will not be derailed. We will not be disappointed. We will not struggle. We will not feel rejected. Every spirit of rejection, every spirit of loneliness that the devil is trying to put upon your people in a season of waiting, in a season of delay. Father, today by your fire, let all of such be burnt out in the mighty name of Jesus. The power, the strength, the capacity to stay focused, to wait on you. Lord, let it be released afresh upon us in the mighty name of of Jesus. I pray that in the season of delay, Lord, we will feel you, we will see you, we will get a word from you, we will be strengthened, we will remain focused, and our testimony shall be the biggest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, my Father, my God, that all that you have set to do for us in this season, in this year, in this year of our relevance, my Father, my God, let nothing take it away. We pray every good prophecy concerning us, our families, our homes, our business, our children, our, our career, our destiny. My Father, my God, it will come into materialization in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The strength to wait on you, Father, release unto us in the name of Jesus. Your word says that it will surely come and we stand on the word that all your promises, all our expectations, all the things that we, we are waiting on you for in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, it may tarry, but Lord, we are prepared to wait for it. And as it comes, it shall be glorious. It shall be mighty. It shall be mouth blowing. It shall lead to our victory and our dancing and our rejoicing. It will never cease. Therefore, I declare, that this season, our victory will come in the name of Jesus. In this season, our victory will manifest in the name of Jesus. I decree upon you, this season, you will receive your victory. That testimony will come on you. That joy they have been expecting, it will manifest. And you will begin to celebrate. I pray for you as we commence this new week, you will receive signs. You will receive messages. You will receive um, contacts that will lead to your victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your victory will be permanent and your rejoicing will never cease. You will begin to dance the victory dance in the name of Jesus. As you prepare for this year, 2023, as you begin and you continue to prepare, God will show up for you and your waiting will never be in vain. So shall it be in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I declare upon you the blessings of the Lord. 
as you step out this week, step out knowing that God is with you. Step out knowing that your victory is sure. Step out knowing that God will never leave you alone. Step out knowing that your joy will be complete because God is on your side. And he has, as he has said it, that it will come to pass. It will surely happen. It will surely come. Know that your joy will surely come in the name of Jesus. And have the confidence that the Spirit of God is with you and is working things together in your favor. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, it tells us that all things work together for good. For those that love God and are called according to his purpose. I decree that word upon you that all things are going to work for your good. All things are going to work in your favor. All things are going to work in your direction such that you will rejoice, you'll be glad, and you will know that God is on your side. You will never be alone. You will never be stranded. And your week is blessed. You're going out. You're coming in. is blessed. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you. Have a glorious Sunday and a fruitful week ahead. Shalom.